Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. We are currently in Venice and I just have 24 hours to explore this beautiful city. I literally just got out the train station and look at my view. This is crazy. I just got to the main island. I'm actually staying in Mestra. So it's just one train stop away. And it's uh, way cheaper than staying on the actual island. So if you're looking for a cheaper option, definitely stay in Mestra. Um, the train ticket was just 1 euro 40. And the ride took maybe six minutes. <laughs> I was on the train and then all of a sudden I was off the train so I'm gonna keep walking for a second I don't have any connection so I actually need to make sure I'm going the right way I tried to download my map but that didn't work at all so I just been taking screenshots and hoping that I go the right way so let's cross this bridge and get to exploring. So I'm in a square right now. Listen, throughout this whole video, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce these names. I don't speak Italian. I don't understand Italian. I probably only know two or three words. And that's ciao, grazie, buongiorno. Is Arriva Dirty Italian? If it's not, don't clown me. Don't clown me. I don't speak Italian. I don't know it. So I'm in some square right now. I just kind of walked over here from the train station it was just like a 14 minute walk and I was looking for a bookstore but it happened to be the wrong one so I'm just walking around to see what else is in this area there's a bakery and I haven't eaten yet so I think I'm gonna head in there and see if I can grab some breakfast but this is like a open market in the square uh, there's people selling things seafood clothes um, and a bunch of restaurants on the outskirts of the square um, but it's pretty different it's not as like lively it just seems kind of like a random spot that people was like yo let's set up our shop over here and start selling stuff so they're selling fish back there. They're selling clothes here. Selling clothes there. And then there are some other vendors coming up, selling. Looks like they're selling vegetables and fruits. And a bunch of restaurants here on the side. So at least you have endless food options, which I'm about to sneak into one of them right now and at least try an italian coffee i'm not a coffee drinker like that i usually drink tea so let's see if we can try something but it seems like everywhere you enter you have to wear your mask uh, they still have some heavy mask mandates here as of right now i'm currently visiting in april so just keep that in mind at 
at this location here. I've just been following my maps. I don't have any like cell service, but I did download my maps before I left my hotel. So I'm just looking at it and following the street signs and figuring out where I need to go. So a lot of videos I watched said it was pretty difficult to get around Venice and Google Maps kept getting them lost. But I think if you look at the map and not so much following the directions that it's making you walk, just look at the maps and make sure you're passing certain landmarks, certain streets, certain cafes that you're passing it, then you'll be in the right direction. So. If you know how to use Google Maps, like seeing where you are, then I think you'll be fine. Um, I'm really not interested in doing any museums in Venice. I'm going to save that for when I go to Rome, so definitely stay tuned for my Rome video. And if it's already out, go ahead and watch it in the cards above. So. And it didn't really look like the picture that it shows on the outside. When I looked inside, it was it like something else. Unless there's like another way you can go or something like that. But Okay, let's keep walking this way. I'm trying to get to the Basilica now, which I think is right here. So this door literally was open and it looks like they're doing some sort of construction in there. But I was able to get a little sneak peek to look inside. Um, that actually was just the reverse side of the church that we walked over to. And there's the gondoliers here waiting to give people a ride. I didn't realize you actually they actually go to school for it. like. You can graduate from gondola school. Pretty interesting. So you see, you would have to pay, but there's a door open on the other side, so I got a little sneak peek. Rialto Bridge. Oh my gosh. Just when I was talking about, oh yeah, read your maps, blah, blah, blah. I'm here walking around getting lost. Well, not really lost because I was just following the map to try to see if I can find the Rialto Bridge and I happened to stumble upon it. So it's really, really busy as soon as you come on this dock area here. There's a bunch of water taxis, a bunch of gondolas, and it's just a complete vibe. Bunch of water taxis. He's doing way too much with that boat. <laughs> but it's a bunch of gondolas, water taxis that you can take restaurants along this thing here. And of course the huge bridge that you can see. Everyone's over there taking pictures. I'm just standing on this thing here. But this is crazy. Like this city is literally built on top of the water. Like. But anyway, I'm gonna head over to the bridge as well and maybe I can get something to eat around here. I feel like it might be way too touristy and I don't want it to be like not real good Italian food. So let's walk towards the bridge, get in the crowd and everything like that and just kind of enjoy the scenery here. The sun's finally coming out. I had this jacket on because it was so chilly this morning but the sun's coming out so I'm really excited for that and hopefully it stays out for the rest of my day. I 
it's so cool how you'll be walking in all these little alleyways and then you just continue walking and seeing where you end up and then you're in this huge square with nothing around and you're just like oh light <laughs> but I think this is the San Polo no Campo St. Angelo Square and I was trying to sneak behind one of those walking tours and just kind of listen but these walking tours is huge like there was one that passed me with like it had to be like 30 people so I was like I won't even be able to hear what the guy is saying anyway so I'm actually about to head back to Rialto Bridge and meet up with a friend and we're gonna have lunch and continue walking around so the squares are really different here if you guys seen my um, Spain and Portugal videos I'll link it in the cards above if you've seen those videos the squares there are kind of like a vibe like there's people around there's restaurants around them there's like a huge statue in the middle I don't know something but the the squares here from what I'm finding is just like open areas so when they say square it's just basically like an open space where you can walk freely have your space and not be so cramped in the alleys so I guess that's what they consider a square if I'm wrong I'm so sorry Venetian people if you're watching this I'm so sorry correct me in the comments below if I am wrong you know I'm not saying that I'm an expert here or anything is just observations that I'm noticing while just walking around the Italian people are so nice and friendly I'm so happy about that because I don't know in Paris it's a little bit different like if you walk past someone they won't say anything to you they don't know you they're not gonna say anything unless you're like in the building or like in a restaurant some hotel things like that but normal everyday people on the street they're not gonna say anything to you they mind their business they're going about their day but if you do like walk past them and you say bonjour or you say hello they actually will say hello back to you so when people always say oh Par Parisian people are rude no they're not rude they're just not like overly friendly all up in your business and me being from New York I appreciate that <laughs> but it's nice that if you do say hello at least they say hello back to you so I don't know I've seen like even here in Venice when I'm walking past people like they might just they might just be like buongiorno or ciao but really friendly really nice and everyone basically speaks English I haven't had any issues with communication since I've got here so that is amazing because I don't speak Italian <laughs> but I am trying because you know I am in Italy and I love to at least try to speak a couple of words because I think it's just like rude to come to like another country and just expect them to speak English like no you're in their space so try to communicate in their language which is what I try to do so I try to learn at least a couple of phrases like excuse me hello pardon me yes no hello goodbye comment things like that and I think anyone can do it OMG, I just was walking in this alleyway here, a bunch of people, and then I noticed this store. Oh my gosh, my mom would go crazy. All the Haitians in Florida, New York. Wow. I know y'all had this. I know y'all had this one. The glass fruits? Wow, my mom would go crazy in that store. Thank God she's not here because she would have probably tried to figure out how to ship it, how she can package it, and all that. And I know she's probably gonna watch this. <laughs> and I'm literally showing it just for her to show that they have all the stuff she might want here. But I'm walking up to 
the Palazzo and it's so beautiful from afar oh my gosh I can't believe I'm here I'm in the city of canals that's so beautiful This is what I think when I think of a square. Like you see there's restaurants here, a beautiful monument in the middle, people hanging out, chilling, feeding the birds. <laughs> this is what I enjoy about squares because this is what brings the vibe. So my lunch was pretty pretty good I just finished I'm gonna keep walking heading towards the Palazzo now I still haven't seen the Palazzo I'm trying to get to st. Mark Square um, but it was nice like yeah you know pasta is pasta but you can taste the pasta al dente and the shrimp was just good like, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm in this halfway here and it's nothing but gondola guys. So it's, it's like a long line of people waiting to get on. If you didn't know, the gondola rides are 80 euros per person and like a hundred and something euros for like a couple so if you're with someone that would be great you can split the course but I am here by myself spending 80 euros on a gondola ride for me is not really something that I was interested in doing I am gonna have to take a boat to Morano Island anyway so I'll be able to ride on the canal regardless and that's another way you can look at taking advantage of a boat ride is heading out to one of the other islands so Morano, Borano there's a bunch of other little islands that you can check out while you're in Venice so I am gonna do that and hopefully I'm going the right way I've just kind of been wandering around and I'm praying that I end up somewhere beautiful. The island's not that big, so I figured I cannot really get lost, you know. Yeah, I think. <laughs> yes, yes, you can. many people I thought it wasn't that many people out here in Venice but yo these birds these seagulls I can't so just walked across the bridge of size which I was really looking forward to because apparently that bridge is what uh, the prisoners looked out they looked out through those windows and 
took their last look out into freedom looking over the canal so they called it the bridge of size because you would hear all the prisoners sighing like oh, i'm going to jail now been walking around for a little bit and I happened to come down this alleyway here because while you're here you'll notice all the shops will tell you you can come and watch them do the glass blowing um, glass blowing in front of you you can pay five euros to do it but I wasn't sure if that was something that I wanted to do so I just kept walking around checking out the different places and I happened to walk down this alley and I'm just looking over the lagoon checking out the water checking out the water because the sun was out and then one of the workers comes outside he starts talking to me um, just telling me about Venice and this island here and he ends up bringing me to the back and showing me like where they blow the glass how they blow it and like all these great details I didn't pull out my camera because I didn't want him to feel like he should charge me <laughs> so I just enjoyed the experience and I ended up having it for free so that's what I'm saying like so far the people that I've had a chance to talk to they've really been nice and I really love that it's almost like really genuine versus when I was in Turkey everyone who's asking you like how you doing where you from blah blah it's all a gimmick it's all a scam just to get you to buy something from their shop so I'm sorry I didn't record that I was just enjoying the experience I do think if you have a chance pay the five euros there's this great place here which is in collaboration to the shop the guy was showing me this thing here um, I wanted to do it it's uh, about 12 euros but it's a whole experience so that might be an option for you when you come to It is so packed at the moment. It is too crowded right now. finally made it back to Venice finally off of Moreno Island like it was I don't understand what the issue was but it was like this huge line to get back on the boat to bring you back to Fondamente Nove to Venice and every boat that came they're like I'm like, you guys go into Fundamente? I like, know the next one, the next one, the next one. And I'm just like, and everyone else is there waiting as well. And they're like, like, what's going on? 
honestly, I was we were standing there because you don't want to lose your place because if you end up sitting down, you'll end up losing your place and won't be able to get on the boat because the boats are so packed, they can only take a certain amount of people every time they come back and forth. So we're standing there. I think I was literally standing there for like almost an hour waiting for a boat that had enough space to bring me back to Venice. So Moreno Island is nice, it was quiet, but if you're not gonna experience the glass blowing, then for me it wasn't really like worth it because you're, I was literally on the island for maybe, maybe 30, 40 minutes and having to wait an hour for a boat was just like annoying. I feel like all these little islands is not like... Okay, somebody making beats in there. <laughs> if I had to do that all over again, no. I'll just stay in Venice for the whole day walking around and that will be done.